Because I'll just start with the uh, penalties is one of the things to watch in uh, yeah. 13 for 121, I believe. That's right. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, I got I to gotta look at the tape, especially on some of the, the in-between uh, penalties. Uh, the ones that really drive me nuts are, are any of the procedure stuff. Um, that's the stuff. And then we got to look at the tape, make sure, you know, we got to play with good fundamentals and technique. Um, we'll just see. You know, I got to look and, and see what happened to Ade on that one on that third down. Uh, so stuff to coach off of, uh, see what we can do better. And uh, Ritter was able to, to get you in the, for field goals, but had uh, uh, penalties kind of slowed down the touchdown drive. They did. Drive uh, they're, they're critical. And a lot, of, a lot of lessons learned. And I got high expectations for Desmond. So we're going to be hard on Desmond and um, because he can, because he's a good player and he, and he can take that kind of coaching. And he understands that, you know, we're not waiting on him as a rookie. Like we're trying to speed him up. So he made some good throws. There's some things he's got to clean up, uh, especially in the operation. And Marcus and Pitts uh, starting off right away with mm -hmm. a big play. Uh, how was that? And Marcus's play overall, 10 for 13, I believe. Yeah, uh, pleased with Marcus. It looked like he got into a good rhythm. Uh, we tried to simulate it. You know, the only drive that I thought, uh, you know, wasn't very good was the, uh, the one we tried to simulate a two-minute situation and mm -hmm. kind of backed up and uh, wasn't real clean there. But other than that, I thought he – it was really clean when he was in there. He got, got into the offense, got into a rhythm. I thought he made a big time throw to OZ. I thought it was a good route, good throw. How about the the, 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 uh, the, the first team offense? That they've scored 17 points over four drives over the course of two games. How do you feel like that they've looked and how have they gotten better? Yeah, I think those guys uh, will continue to work. We got a big day Wednesday, and it's about our progress. Uh, you know, we're not going to live and die with the day to day. Uh, Narratives. I've said that many times, and it's about our progress. And I think they're coming along, and uh, we know we got a lot of work to do before we kick off first New Orleans. Going back to what you're talking about with Desmond, I know you've said a few times in terms of like wanting to see guys go through failure and then respond to it. Mm -hmm. Not saying that this was a failure by any stretch of the imagination, but when you talk about what you want to see from Desmond in the coming weeks, what is that, and how does that relate to kind of what you've been saying over the course of the last? Yeah. You know, another way to put it, to worry, be like in-game adversity, which he did. We overcame. I mean, uh, I think he hit uh, Bernie a few times uh, to get back on track. Um, but there were some other things procedure-wise that he's got to clean up, and he knows that, and he will. On the one-yard line, I assume that's something that I, the, the clip online was you were very animated talking to Desmond and Henny, and what was kind of that moment like and, and what kind of went down in that moment? I'll keep that behind closed doors, but there's an expectation. Don't shoot yourself in the foot down there. That's a pretty good way to put it. When it comes to Tyler Algier today, what was the plan? It seemed like you featured him more often, particularly as Letting those guys, it's really easy. We we'll let those guys compete. Only got some uh, early carries. Tyler got some early carries. Uh, we had a good competition going there. That was, that was really was the thought. You're always looking for teachable, coachable moments, but what did you like most about the games tonight? Well, I thought early on, I mean, the guys were ready to go. Um, and so that was encouraging. Um, I thought we had a productive week up here. What's frustrating was some of the stuff that happened in the second half. Um, that's what I said. I apologize. You guys had to watch some of that. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get better. You find out a lot about young guys. I mean, some of the guys, that, you know, you live with the first time mistakes. It's when you, if you got people that repeat the same ones over and over, uh, that's stuff that can be frustrating. So we'll get it cleaned up. The guys are always, you know, our guys' effort was there. But there's things that certainly those young guys need, we will learn from. Yeah, it was. Um, we came up here. Like I said, I got a different scheme. I, you know, to go against a different kind of front. That's you know, they're jetting up the field, and I thought our guys, for the most part, held up pretty well in pass protection. Um, you, you get the interception by Tabor, and uh, Franks is driving. Uh, what are y'all trying to come up with there to you know just tie it up and maybe? Yeah, if it's a real, real game, real my mindset's different. <laughs> I was trying to hammer as many runs as I could, okay. so. Uh, to get a, a good evaluation on the backs. And then just to close out the week and the, the preseason, just competitive practices and guys getting, you know, improving every day. Is that the goal the rest of the week? Absolutely. I'm um, excited to have Jackson on there. Uh, you know, I think the world of Doug Peterson and his staff will get good work. 
and uh, I'm excited to get back to Atlanta.